Okay, my friends, welcome to your full body flow. Come to join me at the very top of your mat. We're going to start in mountain pose. Just take a moment to connect with the breath, maybe closing the eyes. And then we're going to reach the arms above the head, bringing the thumbs to touch and then draw the palms down to heart centre. And again, inhale to reach the arms up, gazing at the thumbs, and then draw them down to your heart. Let's take this one more time. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Palms come to touch at the top. Good, we'll interlace the fingers this time, keeping the index finger pointing up. And then as you exhale, side stretch over to the left. Good, swaying the hips to the right. You can soften the knees if that feels a little bit nicer, maybe peeling the face up to the sky. And then on your next inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, bend over to the right. Starting to awaken, open up the side body. Lovely, then come back to center. Take an inhale, reach up and out of the hips. Good, then exhale, interlace the hands behind you, drawing the shoulders back, draw the hands to the floor to open the chest. Nice, opening across the collarbone, opening across the heart space. And then as you exhale, soften the knees, fold over the legs. Good, letting the arms fall overhead. And then start to roll your way all the way back up. Open the chest at the top, hands draw down. And then exhale to wave down. Lovely, just taking a few of these with your breath. Waking up the spine. And then we'll inhale to reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold all the way down over the legs. Deep forward fold. Nice, just take a little moment here, maybe walk out the legs either side, have a little shake of the head. You can take hold of opposite elbow into a ragdoll position, maybe rock a little forwards and backwards, side to side. Good, then releasing the hands, take an inhale to come up to halfway, create some space. And then exhale, soften the knees, take two steps back to plank pose. And then drop the knees, chest and chin. Softening the body all the way down to the floor. Good, elbows hug in tight. And then start to swim the body through, shoulders traveling away from the ears. Now as you can open the feet a little bit, as you take an inhale now, start to rise the body up, head comes last to cobra pose. Exhale to wave it down. Good, and again, inhale to rise up, shoulders released. And then exhale, wave it down. Good, bringing the hands a little bit in front now, elbows come under the shoulders. Take an inhale, press into the hands and rise the body up. Good, have a little look to the right and then the left. Keep opening across the collarbone. Lift the chin at the top. And then exhale as you wave all the way back down. Good, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, push back through the knees and send the hips back to child's pose. Lovely, my friends. Just soften the head, the body towards the floor. And then we're going to walk the hands round to one side. Just to come into a little variation of a child's pose. You can place the opposite hand on top just to get a little more stretch through the side body. And then when you're ready, walk the hands back through center and over to the other side. Good, you can sway your hips the opposite way as well just to get a little more out of this. And then come back through to center when you're ready. Good, connecting the elbows now to the floor. Just bring the palms to touch over the head. Stretching out the underneath of the arms, the shoulders. And then release them back down to the mat. Curve yourself all the way up, lowering the hips at the bottom and then send the hips back as you exhale in a wave. Good, again, inhale to curve through. And then exhale to send the hips back. Nice, inhale again, curving all the way through. 
This time come to tabletop pose and we'll come through some cat cows, just moving with your breath. Use your inhale to send the tailbone high, open the chest and use your exhale, tuck the tailbone underneath, curving all the way up the spine. Good. On your last exhale, tuck the toes underneath. Start to send the hips up and back, keeping the knees bent at first to come to our downward facing dog. Good, my friends. Take what you need here. Just easing the heels down to the floor. Maybe a little pedal side to side with the legs. Finding what feels good for you in this moment. And then come to find a little bit of stillness in your down dog. We're going to lift the heels up and wave all the way through to plank and then send the hips back downward dog. Good, the same as we did on the floor, but just through our plank into our downward facing dog, curving all the way through the spine, feeling each vertebrae if you can. And then come to drop the knees, chest and chin as you swim your way through. Take an inhale to rise up to cobra or upward facing dog. And then use your exhale to find your downward facing dog. Lovely, my friends, soften the knees, look to the hands and start to walk your way to the top of the mat, softening the body over the legs. Good, plant the left hand now. We're going to keep the left knee bent, right leg straight and inhale to reach the right arm, opening the chest to the sky. You can bring the right hand to the base of the back just to feel the twist a little bit more or you can reach it up to the sky if that feels better. Please feel free to bring a block underneath the underneath hand just to give you a bit more support. When you're ready, exhale, soften over the legs and then inhale, keep the right knee bent this time, drawing the left hand across the chest to open up or maybe bringing it to the base of the back or reaching it up to the sky. Feeling that stretch down the left side of the body, the left leg. Good. Exhale, soften the knees, soften over the legs. And then start to curve your way all the way up to stand, reaching the arms up to the top. And then exhale, fold back over the legs, deep forward fold. Good. Use your inhale to come to halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, take two steps back to plank pose and then take your full chaturanga or knees chest chin, lowering the body down. Use your inhale to swim through to your back bend and then exhale, downward facing dog. Good, my friends, as you inhale, raise the right leg to the sky, keeping the hips nice and square, press into the right hand. As you exhale, draw the knee to the nose and then step the foot through the hands, dropping the back knee. Good, inhale, rising up to our low lunge pose. You can keep the back toe tucked under for support. Good, my friends, keeping the tailbone nice and lengthened to the floor. You can interlace the hands, perhaps or bring them, bring them behind the back just to open up a little bit more. Or maybe take hold of opposite elbow if that feels nicer. Start to send the hips forward and down as you open the chest. Nice, keep breathing. Reach the arms up and then send the hips up and back to half split pose. Good, think of pulling the right hip crease back. Nice, let's flow between these two. Inhale, come up to low lunge, open the arms. And then exhale, float back, half split pose. Good, just moving with your breath. Make it feel almost like a dance. Flowing to the rhythm of your inhale and your exhale. Allowing yourself to move deeper into your hips and your hamstring. And then in your last exhale, come to spend a few breaths over that right leg. Gently guiding the right hip back and the left hip forward.
Lovely, start to roll through the front foot. Place the left hand down, tuck the back toe underneath and raise the back knee off of you as you reach the right hand up to the sky, twisted lunge. Good, keep that right thigh hugged in. You can maybe bring the right hand to the back of the head again. Tip the head back into the hand to open up the chest as well. Good, keep breathing. From here, release the hand. We're going to release the back knee down to the floor. Keep turning to the outer edge of the mat. As we come to raise the right leg off, reaching the hand up to the sky. Lovely, we then place the top leg down, reach the arm overhead, feeling that lovely stretch down the lateral side of the body. And then soften the sit bones down to the heels as you come all the way around over the extended leg, softening the body over. Taking a moment, have a little stretch. Start to sweep back out the way you came, planting the hand, reaching the other arm overhead raising the leg and then plant the top hand on the floor squaring the hips down keeping the leg raised at the back and then as you exhale lower the body down to the floor swimming through to open up to your back bend and then take the hips up and back downward facing dog good easing the heels down maybe notice the difference between either side As you inhale next, raising the left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Good, keep pressing the right heel down to the floor and then exhale, draw the knee to the nose and step the foot through, dropping the back knee. Inhale as you rise up to low lunge. Good, tailbone is lengthened. And then either bring the hands to hold onto opposite elbow or interlacing the fingers. Good, using this to open up the chest as you send the hips forward and down. Nice, enjoy this lovely hip stretch here. Good, then release the hands, bring them to the floor, send the hips back to your half split pose. Taking a moment to feel all the feels on this side and then start to move with your breath between these two poses. Let it take the length of each breath to get to your pose. And then on your last exhale, soften the body over the extended leg. using your exhales to let go. Good, then shifting the weight forward into the left foot. Plant the right hand, inhale, raise the back knee off as you reach the left hand up to the sky. Good, hugging the left thigh into the body, feeling that lovely twist. You can bring the hand to the back of the head again if you want to get the chest involved. Lovely, then release the hand. Soften the back knee to the mat as we open out to the opposite long edge of the mat now. Reaching the left leg off the floor. And reaching the left hand up to the sky. Good, core is engaged and then plant the left foot, reach the left arm overhead, stretching the whole of the side of the body. Lovely, breathing into the ribs and then soften the sit bones down to the heel as you reach the arms forward and round to relax over the left leg. my friend coming back out the way we came 
planting the right hand, reach the left leg off, reach the left hand to the sky one last time. And then square yourself off down to the mat, keeping the left leg raised if you can. Exhale, soften the elbows, soften the heart down to the floor and then swimming the body through as you inhale and rise up to your back bend and then exhale to downward facing dog. Lovely, have a little moment here. Taking whatever you need in your downward facing dog. And then soften the knees, look to the hands, take a little jump or two steps to come to Malasana, bringing the feet to the outer edges of the mat and soften the sit bones down towards the floor. Nice, you can take a little rock here from side to side. Before coming to find some stillness, perhaps bringing the palms to heart centre, pressing the elbows out into the knees. Good, using this to draw the shoulder blades down the back. Lengthen the tailbone. Lovely, my friends, as you take your next inhale, we're going to open up the arms, palms facing forward. See if you can use the arms to press into the knees to open the chest. And then start to fold the body down in front of you, heel toe the feet to hips width apart. Good, soften the knees, plant the left hand again, left knee is bent, right leg is straight as we reach the right arm up to the sky. Good, if you want to take this a little bit further then sweeping and bending the right arm around the back, see if you can perhaps touch the inside of the left thigh. Remember to use your blocks underneath. And then release the arm, come back down over the legs, we'll come to the other side. Right hand is planted, right knee is bent this time, reach the left hand up. Good, if you want to come to more binding the left arm behind the back, maybe coming to fingertips on the right hand to allow. Good, and then release the hand, soften the body over the legs. Start to curve your way up to stand, reach the arms up at the top. And then draw the palms down to heart centre. Find your grounding through your feet. And find the extension through the top of your head. We're going to come into our tree pose now. So start to shift the weight into the right foot. Drawing the left knee to the chest palms come to heart centre and then taking the knee with the left hand. Good, once you've found your balance, take the knee out to the side. And then connecting the sole of the foot with the inside of the right leg, just making sure it's not around the knee area, either above or below. Good, find your drishti, your focal point. Find your balance and stability. And then if you want, growing your branches, reaching the arms up above the head, making sure the shoulders are nice and relaxed. And then we're going to pick the foot off, taking the foot behind the right leg and taking a side stretch over to the right. You can lean the hips into the left. Good, feeling a stretch all the way down the left side of the body. Nice, gathering back into centre, draw the left knee into the chest again. And then start to send the leg back, counterbalance by moving the body forward and step the foot back to high lunge pose. Reach the arms overhead. Nice, find your grounding, find where feels good. And then interlace the hands behind you as you ground through the back heel. Good, take an inhale, open the chest, draw the hands down the back leg. Nice, finding more space to breathe, finding more space in the heart. And then release the hands, come back to high lunge with the heel off. Start to rotate round to the right side. 
and then plant the left hand down as you reach the right hand up, twisted lunge. Good, start to heel toe that front foot round down about halfway of the mat as you come to the outer edge of the left foot. Good, soften the hips down as you reach the arm back. Nice, inhale, press into the foot as you reach the hips up, arm comes overhead. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, we lower up. This time ground the left foot and we're coming into a side plank. So either drawing the foot into the leg or taking it out long. Nice, push the hips away from the floor. And then we're gonna place the top foot behind us as we lower the hips down, draw the elbow into the belly button. Good, press into the hand, press into the feet as we lift the hips up, reaching the right hand up to the sky. Nice, glutes are engaged, pressing the hips up and forward. Good, coming back round through our side plank, ground the underneath foot, draw the foot into the leg. Place the right hand down as we come to our plank. You can place the right foot down or extend it out to the back. And then exhale to lower all the way down or knees, chest, chin. Use your inhale to open up cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale downward facing dog. Lovely, my friends. Take three rounds of breath here. Good. Take an inhale now, soften the knees, look to the hands and then take two steps or a hop to join the hands at the top of the mat. Inhale, come to halfway lift. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, root to rise as we reach the hands up to the sky and then exhale, draw your palms to heart centre. Nice, my friends. Take a moment here. Reconnect with the breath and then we'll come to find our tree pose on the other side drawing the right knee into the chest this time. And then taking it out to the side before connecting the sole of the foot with the inside of the left leg. Finding your tree pose, your vrikshasana on this side. Use your focal point and use your breath. And then perhaps extending your branches when you get there, if you feel balanced. Finding humility if you fall over. And then release the foot, cross it behind the left leg and take a side stretch over to the left. Go ahead and sway the hips to the right again. Just find what feels good here. This doesn't need to look a certain way. Lovely, come back through to centre as you draw the knee into the chest again, find your balance. And then start to send the leg back as you send the body forward, stepping all the way to your high lunge pose, reaching the arms up. Good, when you're ready, ground through that back heel. Rotate the arms around the back as you interlace the hands, bringing the other hand on top this time. Take an inhale as you open the shoulders, draw the hands down the back leg. Nice, keep that bend in that front knee. Good, then release the hands, sweep the arms back up to high lunge, raising the heel off. And then plant the right hand down as you inhale and reach the left hand up, twisted runner's lunge. Good, from here, let's heel toe the left leg round, coming onto the outer edge of the right foot. And then when you're ready, exhale, soften the hips down, reach the left hand back. Good, inhale to press the hips up to the sky and exhale to lower. Nice, again, inhale to reach it up. Grounding through the right foot this time, coming to side plank. You can bring the left leg on top of the right. Or maybe bending the knee, hugging the foot into the leg. Good, press away from the floor. And then bringing the foot behind as we lower the hips down, draw the elbow into the belly button. Nice, press into the floor with the legs and the feet now. As you reach the hand up, reach the hips up to the sky. Good, glutes are engaged. 
pressing everything away from the floor. Nice, then we'll come back through our side plank pose. Squaring off to the floor this time. Again, bringing the foot to the floor or taking it out long. And then use your exhale to lower down your version. Nice, inhale, come to cobra or upward dog. And then exhale, make your way to downward facing dog. Amazing, my friends. Take a moment here. And then when you're ready, soften the knees to inhale, step or hop to the hands and then come to sit down on your mat. Nice, we're going to bring the feet to the width of our mat here, knees nice and bent. Good, and just soften the body in between the legs. Relaxing the hands on the feet or just where feels good. You can even interlace the hands behind the head have a little bit of a neck and head stretch as well. Good, feel that lovely curve of the spine. Starting to slow down the breath. And then releasing, bringing yourself all the way up. Come to the top of the mat and reach the arms forward. And then as you exhale, start to lower yourself all the way down to your back. Letting your head come last. Amazing. Hug the knees into the chest. Take a good rock from side to side. Feel the length of your spine on the mat. Give it a good massage. Good. Then we're going to cross the right leg over the left leg. Reaching the top of the body up, seeing if you can reach for maybe the ankles, maybe the calves. And then start to draw the feet out to the side, almost like a shoelace pose in our yin practice, but supine. Good, see if you can keep the tailbone nice and grounded. Drawing the feet round to either side. Lovely, then release your grip, bring the left foot to the floor, shift the hips to the right, and then as you exhale, soften the legs over to the left. You can bring the right arm out to the side. Maybe take the gaze to the right if that feels nice as well. And close your eyes here. I'm bringing our practice all the way down now. And then roll the left foot back onto the sole. Release the legs and hug them into a ball again. You can bring your head up this time. And then come to the other side when you're ready. Left leg crosses over right this time. Reaching the hands up, see where you can grab. And then on an exhale, start to gently draw the feet round to either side towards you. Try and keep the shoulders nice and relaxed away from the ears if you can. Then release your grip. Bring the right foot to the floor, shift the hips to the left. And then as you exhale, soften the legs to the right. Opening the left arm out, taking the gaze to the left. Again, you can close your eyes, start to bring your breath down. Come back onto the right sole of the foot, bringing your body back and then hug the knees into the chest again. Before taking the legs out nice and long and opening the arms out to come to our final relaxation. Go let there be space between either leg, let there be space between the arms and the body. 
and close your eyes. Taking a few moments to rest, to reap the benefits of your practice today. Just allow your whole body to relax. And please feel free to stay here for as long as you need and want to. If you want to close your practice with me, then just wiggling the fingers, the toes. Give yourself a stretch. And draw the knees into the chest. And then roll yourself onto one side and bring yourself up to a seated position. Good. Keeping the eyes closed. And when you're ready, reach the hands up to the sky, palms touch. And exhale, draw them down to your heart center. Inhale again, reach the arms up. And exhale, draw them down the center of the body. Lovely, one last time, inhale, reaching the hands up, taking the gaze with you and exhale to draw your hands down to heart centre. Taking a moment to notice how you feel. Thank you so much for joining me for this wonderful class and I will see you again very soon, my friend. From my heart to yours, namaste. Namaste.